All right, my Jamaican people, let's take a break from our scheduled program here and get into this promo of a wonderful product from a company called Soninka Limited. Soninka Limited Solar Lighting. They have interior lighting available, roof solar panels available, extra bright street lights like you're seeing in this video clip available you can use these lights to light up your streets and avenues lanes and corners your backyard your farm your front yard any which part need lighting and this is all powered by god's sun solar no man solar you don't have a jps bill to play pay and they are available island wide so check it intelligent lighting control dimmable remote controlled rechargeable on cloudy days Listen, hook up, link up with Soninka right now. Oh, and tell them SoFlow TV sent you and get a nice discount. And get yourself out of the darkness and into the light. Back to our regular scheduled program at hand. Peace. All right, welcome back to the channel, y'all. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let's get right into the topic. So... A young lady recently got sentenced to over a decade in prison because she apparently took the life of a grown man who was trafficking her at a teenage age. Now, she said she had the right to legally take his life, according to court papers. I had the right to legally take his life because he was sexually trafficking me and she thought she was going to get away with it, and she did not. In this same situation, you can look and you can see that this is a young black girl and that the man who she took his life was a white man. So there are a lot of people who are saying, man, if this was a young white girl and she was being sex trafficked, she would have been rescued, she would have been put in a home, she would have been given assistance, she would have been given counseling, she would not have been sent to prison for over a decade. But... I'm not so quick to jump to all of that conclusion. Let's get into the details of how this actually went down. This video won't be too long, but I just want to get to the point. A Milwaukee woman who said that she was legally allowed to kill a man because he was sexually trafficking her has been sentenced to 11 years in prison after pleading guilty to a reduced count of reckless homicide. So instead of giving her first degree murder, or intentional murder she pled guilty to a lesser charge of reduced reckless homicide now kenosha county judge on monday sentenced crystal kaiser to 11 years of initial confinement which will be followed by five years of extended supervision in the 2018 death of randall volar a 34 year old man she was given credit for 750 days which is about a year and a half of time already served because that is how long she was locked up before her court case actually got called up and she was able to stand before a judge the judge did not make kaiser eligible to participate in any early release programs because the department of corrections did not deem that necessary and she should also be released in 2033, according to the Wisconsin State Public Defender's Office. Now, Kaiser, who is the young lady, she had pled guilty in May to second-degree reckless homicide in Volar's death, according, which allowed her to avoid a trial and a possible life sentence. This is how they do in the court system. You could plead guilty now, take this deal, plead guilty to a lesser charge, or you can take it to trial and risk getting a life sentence. Lucky for her, well, we will never know. This is one way that the system railroads you, is that you will never know. Because once you take that deal, there is no trial. There will be no jury. There will be nobody there to go through the details of your case to say, hey, she was a minor. That was a grown man. What was he doing in a sexually compromising situation with a minor, right? And she defended herself and she should be let go. I guess she got scared or depending on what type of representation she had, her lawyer 
public defender probably told her, take the deal. It's the best deal because if you don't take this 11 years, you're probably going to end up looking at 50 years behind bars. You start weighing the difference, 11 versus 50. Okay, I'll plead guilty to a lesser charge, right? Prosecutors said that Kaiser shot Volar at his Kenosha home in 2018. Back then, she was 17 years old. And that she then burnt his house down and stole his BMW. She was charged with multiple counts, including first-degree intentional homicide, arson, car theft, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Kaiser, she is now 24 years old, said that she met Volar on a sex trafficking website. He had been molesting her and selling her as a prostitute to other people over the year leading up to his death, she said. She told detectives that she shot him after he tried to touch her. Now, this don't make no sense, and this is where she would have gotten her ass handed to her in court if she had went to trial, per se. Let's run this back a little bit. In a lot of states, the age of consent is 16, okay? She was already 17. She was one year away from being considered a legal adult across the entire United States of America. At the age of 17, bordering 18, as you can see, now she's 24. But at the age of 17, bordering 18 years old, you're pretty much very well aware that if somebody wants to kidnap you, take you somewhere, you run. And if, if you have any chance to escape, you escape. She kind of went along with the plan. They asked, how did you yourself get on that website? Did you have a pimp? Were you held hostage and this pimp loaned you out to the man that you killed? How was he giving you or trafficking you to other clients? Is that some deal that you had with him that you were going to lend your service or provide services to other clients while he collects the money and you live at his home? That sounds like a deal between two adults, right? Not like somebody who was forced to do it and could have left at any point. They're looking at where was the danger for her. I know a lot of people are going to be up in their feelings, but this is why it came to what it came to, right? She told the detective she shot him when he tried to touch her. Now, if this man is the man that has you in his home and you are have a deal with him where he is, and this is your defense in court, that he is sending you to other people and you go and you provide services and you come back. Now, him trying to touch you is going to be hard to sell because naturally everybody thinks he's already t been touching you. So I don't think that's the reason why you killed him kind of thing. And then she burnt the house down and then she stole the BMW. You know, it was just one thing added to another. So her attorney said that she couldn't be held criminally liable for any of it under a 2008 state law that absolves sex trafficking victims of any offense that is committed as a direct result of being trafficked. Most states have passed similar laws over the last 10 years providing sex trafficking victims at least some level of criminal immunity. Prosecutors countered that Wisconsin legislators could possibly have intended for protection to extend to homicide. Anti-violence groups flocked to Kaiser's defense, arguing in court briefs that trafficking victims feel trapped and sometimes they feel as if they have to take matters into their own hands and the state supreme court ruled in 2022 that she could raise the defense during trial so she raised the defense during trial and when she raised the defense during trial it did not work out in her favor she had to plead to a lesser charge now at the end of the day what they looked at and what they said was you were 17 years old that was willingly, consensually involved with a 34-year-old. 
And it didn't help that by the time she went to trial, she was 24. Because now people would be looking at her like, you're a grown woman. Yeah, he's a little bit older than you, but he's young too, right? So she's 24 years old, 34, 17 at the time. You were involved with him. Y'all had a relationship going. Something happened in the relationship where you felt that you could burn his house down and take his car. And it didn't have anything to do with him trafficking you. And she had no proof except for word of mouth that she was being trafficked by him. So it looked to the courts as if a relationship went bad and she basically used that as a defense to get away with murder, but it didn't work in her favor. And I know a lot of people are going to say he should have, he deserved it. And she should have still got off because she was 17 and he was 30, 33 or 34. Well, listen, that doesn't fly in the court of law. And the reason why it doesn't fly in the court of law is because in some states, that's the age of consent already anyways, right? And another thing is she had to have proof that he was sexually trafficking her and she had no proof except for her word of mouth. She couldn't call any clients and say, hey, tell them that he used to sell you, sell me to you. Ain't nobody going to show up and say, yeah, I used to buy her from him before she killed him. You know, if it's illegal, it's already illegal. That's like calling a drug dealer and saying, hey, tell them I sold you two kilos of coke. Ain't nobody showing up for that. It's like a drug dealer getting robbed. You can't go to the police and say, hey, officer, that man over there robbed me my two kilos of coke. You know, you're going to prison for two kilos of coke instead of the guy that robbed you. So it's a sticky situation that she was in. And there are a lot of people who still do not believe her story. My question to you is, do you believe her story? Because most people who do believe her story are actually just acting off of emotions. Oh my God, she was 17. He was 34. If he was a, if, if, if she, he's a, she's a black girl. If, if she was a white girl, she would have been helped. I don't know. Form your opinion in the comment section below. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.